Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings, and I wanted to show you this Allium Millennium. So I'm walking around my garden tonight, and it is in its prime right now. Um, and I want to show you, there are so many bees on this plant right now. So I consider that a good thing, uh, because you can tell it's just a pollinator's dream. Uh, but if you are allergic to bees, this is one plant I would not recommend planting in your garden. So there's honeybees, bumblebees, native bees. There's just so many bees on this plant right now. So I think that's great personally for pollination. Um, I like to add plants to the garden that will attract the pollinators. So this is definitely something that has done a very good job of attracting the pollinators. Allium Millennium gets 18 to 20 inches tall and about 15 to 18 or so inches wide. This is a summer bloomer, so right now it's the beginning of August and it's, it's in its prime. Uh, the, this is a grouping here of five different plants. So I do like to plant this in mass uh, just because I think, you know, it looks nice when there's one, but I think it looks really nice when there's a lot of them. This likes to be planted in a full sun to part shade location. Uh, fairly drought tolerant and hardy in zones, I believe this is hardy in zones four to eight. So very, very well adaptable here to most of the areas in the United States. Uh, so if you're looking for something that's just really prolific with blooms, I'll step back and you can just see the mass of color that this brings to the garden. And also if you're looking for something to attract pollinators, this is definitely a plant that is going to do that in your garden. Uh, so if you're looking to add a little whimsy and a little fun with a little splash of purple and a lot of buzzing of bees, consider giving the Allium Millennium a try. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings.